G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week, I'm going to be discussing people we've all seen at the footy. The first person I guarantee we've all seen at the footy is the guy on the phone waving to someone on the other side of the stadium. Can you see me? Can you, can you see me? Yeah, Ponsford stand, just near the scoreboard, four bays across, 16 rows up, fifth seat to the right. How can you not see me? There's 50,000 other people there, mate. They're not going to see you. There's always a guy in the crowd that says, I could have done that. Oh, bloody hell, I could have marked that. Oh, bloody hell, I could have kicked that. No, but you couldn't, mate. You actually couldn't. The intensity, the pressure on the ground, you would have no hope. All you do is sit on super coach all week in your office job from nine to five that you hate, and you think you could go out there and hit a 30 meter kick in extreme pressure. There's also that person, I'm gonna say a female, usually 50 to 65, that always say, oh, it's not handball, it's football, kick it. I'm done with you, Margaret. Seriously, we know it's not handball. But sometimes, Margaret, you gotta link the hands to get out of the pack. But on the other hand, whenever they're just kicking it, Margaret's there as well. Oh, stop just kicking it, find an option. What are you doing here, Margaret? Margaret, if you're so good, why don't you just coach? Why don't you get out there? I'd love to see you hit a handball, Margaret. These are the people that probably annoy me the most. Uh, people that yell out, BALL! For no reason at all. Get a grip on the game. You know, Robbie Gray, quick handball to Travis Boak. He's had two milliseconds to catch it. He gets tackled. BALL! Be fair, mate. He's just, he's only just got it. He's had no opportunity. How is that holding the ball, mate? There's always one guy uh, that we've all seen at the footy. It's when it's you know a little bit close, close to the last quarter. It's very tight, the result could go either way. And there's always one guy with headphones in his ear listening to the radio that yells out the time. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Oh, thanks mate. There's always a couple of glass half empties there, especially going to a Melbourne game. And Jack Watts might drop a mark very early and all you hear is, Oh, he's crap. Get him off his crap. Oh, Jack Watts. Oh, Jack. You're so crap. And then the rest of the game, he'll kick four, get involved with the ball a lot, probably have 20 touches and win us the game off his own boot. But because he stuffed up earlier in the match, Jack, you're crap. You're so crap, Jack. There's a couple of people that get a little bit violent, a little bit physical, but unlike in this soccer over in Europe or unlike in other countries where it can get physical between supporters, these people get physical with the seats. Like, why are you getting physical with the seats? Oh, f you, umpire! Oh! There's also other people at the footy that don't know how to use the seats. I cringe, I actually... I feel ill. I feel ill talking about this even. The people that'll get up from the seats, and if you haven't been to the footy, it's those seats that fold up and fold down. So they'll get up from the seats, and it'll fold up, and then I just sit and go, please put it back down, please put it back down, please put it back down. And they go to take a seat, and they do a bit of these ones. And everyone runs over, oh, you're right, mate, come on, come on, and I'm like, oh, mate. There's people that I sort of understand the tradition and, and the fun of it, but I don't quite get it. It's the people that'll mark everything down in their footy records. Like, I know it's tradition and I know it's, you know, something you might do. But whenever I've given it a go, I just forget. <laughs> I forget very early. And then when I forget, I look on the AFL app. And it does it for you. And it's a bit more comprehensive than some bloody Roman numerals in your f***ing record. <laughs> Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you around soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.